And what's going on, y'all? My name is Brad, and welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. I uh, want to thank all you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Can't say it enough. Guess I'll keep it short and sweet this time and get on with the game. Okay, so guys, Can I'm coming up there? on John's mission sure. here. They're supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. So I'm under John's mission. Mess around with their horses or something. I don't know. Guess we'll find out when we get there. Where we at here, boys? There you are. Good men. Like you. We don't know them. You turn up in this town, and you're helping everybody. And everywhere, there's troubles. And have you met my partner, Arthur Morgan? No. I met your son, the sheriff. Okay. Mr. Gray here was saying how he had problems with a family. A family of degenerates. Oh, well, nobody likes degenerates. The hag and her inbred sons. They ruined this county. They killed my uncle, you know. That ain't right. Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 5,000 for horses? Easy. And where do we sell them, these $5,000 horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you 50 cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the south side of the manor. That's where they keep the thoroughbreds. Well, let's go get some horses. Behind you. Okay. Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. We don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Okay, are they not going to remember that he was just there trying to sell a moonshine? There's a guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right. I then. guess that's why we're going in the back way. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. A partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. But perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. But head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. Thank you, sir. Ah. 
careful. That's it. Nice and easy. No need to rush. Don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. Sure. Why not? All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. All right. Let's hitch up here. Talk to this guy about some horses, I guess. Did he say let me do the talking? Alright, I can do that. Hello there. Can I help you boys? I hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from um, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. This here is Cerberus. Here you go, boy. A hot greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Don't need nobody. Recognizing us. All right. I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy now. Marshal, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Calm down, little buddy. Calm down. Alright, lead the horse. Marston, you ride point. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Go, get What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Go, boys, go! That was a good shot. Thanks. 
Lasso. All right, let's get these horses to Clemens Cove. Whoa, you okay there, boy? Shit! One of the stallions is loose. Keep going, huh? Take you back up here. Hey Morgan! Over here! You got him! Well done. Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Oh, easy there. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Whoa! You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? Guess we'll see. Easy, easy. Easy. Whoa, why'd you let go of the horse? Just go stand there. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, Heard you pay good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother Clive. We're twins. John. Arthur. Javier. <clears throat> so what are you? Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That so? Maybe. Why, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Ah. Sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They, they ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you, I can give you 650 for them. <laughs> I was told we could get up to five thousand dollars for him. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But I like you boys. But I ain't got more than seven hundred on me. You want it, or you want to ride them fellers into town, and maybe someone there will hang you. We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh huh. All right. You goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on. Yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Leave the yarn spun us by one of that Gray family. And imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. <sighs> At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. All right, mission complete. I was letting him get done with his journal there. Um. We'll go ahead and do another mission. Come on, dude. You can walk a little faster in this camp. Dutch is over here blasting music or something. Arthur! Arthur! Let's go talk to Dutch. What now? You sweating yet, Dutch? Of course I'm sweating. We're in some disease-ridden, swampy, Dixie-whistling shithole. <laughs> uh, I meant about what Trelawney said about these bounty hunters. I'm not sweating as such, but maybe a little gentle perspiration. Until we know more, ain't too much harm in wasting good liquor on sweating. So? So, 
I think you should pay Mr. Trelawney a visit and find out exactly what he knows and who he spoke to. Take Charles with you. Oh, the sight of the pair of you would make a statue sing out its secrets. Okay. All right, go to Charles. There she is. Charles, I need you for some business in town. Come on. Okay. I love how he just agrees. Don't care what it is, just agrees with it. Guys, location here. Where are we going? Dutch wants us to have a talk with Trelawney about these bounty hunters who are coming for us. Hold up a second. Well, you come on, buddy. I'll wait on you. Why are you riding off on well, me? Well, you're supposed to come on. So, what were you talking about before? Hoping he can tell us who they are or where they're coming from. Okay. And you're deputies now. Something like that. Soon as we laid eyes on that fool of a sheriff who runs that town, I knew Dutch was gonna play him like a fiddle. On the run from one bunch of lawmen, working for another. Interesting. Hiding in plain sight, Dutch calls it. <laughs> hmm. So, spirits seem good. In the new camp, I mean. We got some space between us and that mess now. I ain't seen no more Pinkertons for a while. There's these bounty hunters, of course, but Dutch don't seem too worried about it. Can't believe they're still coming after us. We didn't even get away with the money. Easy. Hold up. Someone got here first. So it seems. By the looks of things, it wasn't a social call. Check the house. Shit. This don't look so good. Well, he clearly ain't here, so where is he? Hmm. Let's take a look around. Alright, let's see here. Let's inspect that right there. This food's barely touched. Looks like he left in a hurry. Well, if you get out of my way there, house, so I'll... Look at this here. Come on. There's some blood here. That ain't good. We should get going. Well, let's go. They went down the path here. How's your tracking these days? All right, I guess. Hm. Well, lead the way then. Not the kind of place I'd expect to see Trelawney staying in. No? Normally scams himself into the best hotel in town. You know. When me and Javier went down with Trelawney to get Sean after the bar fight, I swear, he talked the whole way and never actually said a damn thing. I thought you knew. That's his special talent. They could be 20 miles away by now. We can track them that far if we need to. Depends on how much you want to find them. Yeah. I still ain't sure. There we go. I thought I passed it up. Hey, look. Let's go see what those fellas have to say. What are you getting off for? Excuse me. Yeah. Have you seen him? <clears throat> we're, uh, we're looking for our friend. I don't think he's here. <laughs> 
Now, you seen a strange sort of feller, sort of formal? Strange? Sure. Formal? Nah. He uses a cane. Looks a lot like this one. Yeah. All right, you two. Where the hell is he? We both better get out of here. All right, buddy. Knock my head off. Took him to a cabin over by the cornfields. Which cornfields? Left. Down the path there by Braithwaite Manor. I felt that one. All right. Knock my hat off. Do it. Let's see what this guy's got here. Had freaking nineteen dollars. Wow. Well, nowadays it's not a lot of money, but back then it was a lot of money. All right, Charles, I'm following you, buddy. Follow me. I think there's a way around, so we don't have to go I through just the breakaway place. Yes. I've spent enough time there. After you, then. You okay? I'm good. What do you think they want with Trelawney? Could be any one of a hundred things. Just depends if any of them involve us. You think he'll talk? Of course he'll talk. He'd sell his own sister to save a train fare. He don't know how not to talk. He don't know where we're holed up, though. At least I don't think he does. I don't know why Dutch still deals with him. Always disappearing for weeks on end. He's got his uses, and, well, loyalty matters to Dutch. Of course. But is Trelawney loyal? Yeah, kind of. I guess Trelawney ain't exactly disloyal. Just got a big mouth. Don't worry. If he talked, I'll goddamn find out what he said. <laughs> All right, then. Nothing's ever straightforward where Trelawney's involved. Learn that much. I mean, how much time have we wasted getting this fool out of trouble? He somehow manages to be both lucky and unlucky at the same time. <laughs> That's one way of looking at it. But he always finds some way to pay us back. Just when we think about cutting him loose, he brings us something big. I guess that's his special talent. Keeping fish on the line. Alright, we're in the cornfield. I guess they're not going to talk for a minute. That's not usual. That must be it. Never mind. <laughs> okay, maybe that was all I had to say. Whoa! Let's get you out of here. Come on, boy. The thing is, after that shack, this will be remembered like a good time. Put the man down, gentlemen. A lot of them? I, I think so. Uh, so uh, you're alive. Uh, allegedly. Well, don't worry, they won't be for much longer. Look, go get them, Arthur. I can handle this. Go deal with them, my brother. 
Oh, I thought I had him. Don't let him get away. Could have told him anything. Quick, find him. We're trying to hide in the fields. Why are you pointing over here? Because I sure don't see him over here. Hey! I see something on the ground over here. He's dumped his gear. Look around. He can't have gone far. Search the cornfield. That's what I'm doing, dude. Give you money. Come on. He should have taken the money. I know. I'm a fool. Oh, shit. Thank you. Of course. You okay? Yeah. I'm fine. Whoa. The gunshots are coming from that barn. Come on. Yeah, when I was searching around, I'd actually come in here. Where is he? I come in here and I there was nobody in here. I'm gonna collect from all three of you sons of bitches. Oh, there you are. God. Good. You should be the last one. So he got money on him too? Let's go back to Trelawney. These guys got a lot of money you know, on right? them. Yeah. Sorry, Charles. Sure don't. Come on. Let's go see how badly they beat up the slippery feller. I wonder how much trouble he's brought with him. <laughs> Guess we'll soon find out. Seems like we can't catch a break now, Arthur. Our luck's held this long. We got out of worse scrapes than this one. Mm, so I heard. <laughs> sure. What's government agents and bounty hunters to us? Ah, uh, I hope you're right. Cause I'm going up through here anyway. I'm gonna check this uh, 
Mr. Trelawney, where are you? Over here, dear boy. Okay, I'm good. I want to check see if this guy had any money on him. They've got quite a bit. Let's go see what Trelawney just doing. Why he got captured. Well, he's still here at least. Put your feet up, why don't you? You okay? Never finer. So, who was they? Uh, they were bounty hunter. Uh, attached to Cole Stoudemire. Okay. They weren't looking for me, per no. se. What you tell them? Not much. I told them I was an intellectual. Come down here from Oregon. Looking for a job at the university. Of course, they didn't believe me. Seems you stirred up quite a hornet's nest in Blackwater. So I keep hearing. It might be best if I stay with you gentlemen for a while. Can't go back to that caravan now. All right, Charles. You take Trelawney back to camp. I'll catch up with you. Okay. There always seems to be more, more and more civilization. I want to get back in the open country of the West, or what's left of it, but well, even that ain't the way I remember it. Okay, another mission down. Guys, I guess I'm going to end the video right here. I want to thank all you guys for watching. Really do appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to check out my previous videos if you haven't checked those out. Uh, don't forget to drop me a like on this one and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're new. Uh, I really do hope that y'all are enjoying these videos because uh, there's going to be quite a few more coming. But with all that being said, I will catch all you guys in the next video.